Hi Sagittarius, this is Christina. Welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. (laughs) Sorry, that just sounded funny. Anyway, I'm here to get you some messages today. We'll see what's going on in your energy and what your angels and guides would like to tell you at this time. Before I get started, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me. Are you ready? All right, Sag, let's get your cards. Three of Pentacles, the Tower, <laughs> Queen of Swords, sorry, and uh, a Magician, Queen of Cups. Hmm, Sag, what's going on? It looks like somebody you were working with or somebody you will be working with. I feel like it's not going to work out the way you think. I think that's not going to, I don't think it's going to go well. I think you're going to get some honesty, some truth, some clarity on the situation. And you're going to realize that uh, that situation wasn't meant for me. So it's either somebody you're working with or somebody you have plans with, something like that. I just don't feel like it's going to work out. It, that Three Pentacles is the teamwork card, and the tower is when something falls apart, when something crumbles. So whoever you are working with or planning to work with, it's not going to work out. And you see this. And... uh Okay, but um, you're manifesting something. What are you manifesting? Are you manifesting a new new situation? Or are you just trying to trust your intuition where this person is concerned or this situation is concerned? <coughs> so sorry. Sag, I I don't have a clear answer right now. I don't know. I really don't know what the situation is about. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm I'm a little confused here. Um, You have the Queen of Cups. So that's you being very loving and kind. Generous even. But you trusting your intuition. So like that's the energy you're in. You're like. So I feel like whatever's not going to work out. You're not mad about it. You're just kind of like, I knew it. Because you're just, you're okay with it. Being the queen of cups, you're very loving towards it still. You're like, ah, it's it's okay. It's fine. But with the magician here, I don't know if you're manifesting it for it not to work out or you're manifesting something new to replace it. I guess we're going to have to get more cards to, to really understand it. But I have to be honest with you. I'm a little confused. They're not, they're not giving me a clear picture. So let's uh, get the cards. And this could have already happened because that's that's kind of the past. I kind of do past, present, future sometimes. So uh, it could have already happened but not necessarily. I don't, I don't know. And I don't always read it like that, but I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm just trying to make sense of this reading it because I don't have a clear picture. You have the Emperor, Five of Cups, Seven of Cups, and Six of Pentacles. All right. All right, so this is you stepping in an emperor mode, emperor mode, where you're like, "All right, it didn't work out. I'm gonna do what I gotta do anyway. I'm still moving forward. I'll get things done. I'll do it myself, or I'll find somebody else to do it for me." Like you, you are in 
control mode where it's okay. It didn't work out. That's fine. I'm okay. I'll, I'll take care of it. Like you're in fix it mode or, you know what I mean? You're just like, you're large and in charge. You're, you're going to be fine. But you might be grieving this a little bit. This might make you sad because five of cups is you being upset over something you lost. But they're saying, you know, there's a lot of different options. There's different directions you can go in. You have opportunities before you. Just make sure you choose wisely from now on. And Six of Pentacles is somebody coming in to give you equal give and take. Or somebody coming in to be very generous with you. So again, I, I don't have a clear picture, but hopefully you do. Hopefully this is now starting to make sense to you and you have a better understanding of it. Um, I'm just not seeing the movie. I usually see like the movie reel and I, I'm not seeing it. So, uh, you know, maybe it'll come as I as we go. But I think I'm at, I am getting the feeling that it is starting to make a little bit more sense to you guys. So hopefully that's the, that is the case. Great teacher, learn from spiritual experiences. Okay, so that's Jesus energy. That's, that's, um, Jesus was a teacher, right? He was spreading the, uh, what he knew of the universe and of God and how to be and how to attract great things in your life um, and how we should treat others and how we should see others. So this is you again being a teacher, teaching, um, But, but a very positive teacher a po in a positive way so that's coming under the emperor so maybe you're teaching somebody how to do things in a very positive loving generous I'm giving you my time type of way and I'm giving it to you freely like I'm not begrudging you for it The Swan Queen, Transformation, Intuitions, and Patience. Okay, so this is you again, being very graceful, very patient, very loving, very kind, very generous, very giving. Well, that's really beautiful. I just, I'm still not seeing it <laughs> though, so it's it's frustrating me, but that's beautiful energy for you for you to be in. They're giving me the same the same message, the same energy. So obviously this is important. You got Paul the Venetian who is experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. So, um, you know, this is you again, being a teacher, being sharing your abilities, sharing your knowledge, sharing your gifts, and being very loving, kind, and generous about it. Um Okay, I, 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 that's beautiful energy. It is. It's absolutely beautiful energy, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm still not seeing the point. <laughs> but that's me. That's it. It could be all me here. Breathe like you know how. But there's, there's two people in this card. You see that? So like, I feel like you have to breathe when it comes to another person. Inhale the good shit, exhale the bad shit. Oh, I shouldn't have cursed. My apologies. Um, but that's what the reverse side says. Um, so in other words, you know, <sighs> breathe in good, let the bad go. 
I'm okay, I'm love and light, everything's going to work out for me, I'm not stressed, I'm not angry, I'm not bitter, it's okay you stab me in the back, I'm not going to be mad about it, I'm just going to move on, I'm going to do what I got to do, all that kind of calm, loving, generous spirit. All right. <laughs> All right. Nothing will come of the situation. So uh, no harm's going to come to you. Like you don't have to worry about anything. You everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. Nothing's going to come of it. Well, I think that's the, they're talking about the tower moment there. I feel like nothing's going to come of it. It's going to be fine. For yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. You don't have to be dependent on anybody else. This is oh, my like pink devil card and it's all about, for me, codependency. You don't have to depend on anybody. You could do this on your own. You're okay. You'll be fine. All right. Let's get a love card just in case some of you are looking for love here. If it's even about love. It could be about whatever the situation is. Beware of what you are projecting. Ah, that's a mirroring card. You're mirroring somebody. For the qualities that you like, I, th th you know, this card, I always think it should be read opposite of what it says. So it's like the qualities that you don't like in somebody, they could also be your reflection. So the qualities you see in them may also be the qualities you see in yourself that you don't like, that you want to fix. And equally so, the qualities that you like also are the qualities that you have as well. Um, so you're definitely mirroring. So maybe that's why and you're, you're starting to see that. Maybe that's why you're not so upset over this tower moment. You're just like, whatever, it's fine. You know, sometimes I do that too, so I get it. I don't like it when it's being done to me, but... I've done it too, so I'm okay with it. Let's just move on. Mother Earth, grounding and support. This is just so crazy. Like, I understand what all these cards mean. Okay, I understand. I got the message loud and clear. This is you being grounded. And and again, the same energy, the same. It's okay. I'll work it out. I'm strong. I can handle it myself. I'm fine. All that energy, right? But I don't see the situation. So it must be a different situation for different Sagittarius's. So anyway, your attention is drawn to the need to ground your energies to the earth. If you struggle with bringing your dreams and ideas into reality, remember that everything is built one block at a time. All it takes is for the first block to be placed, which sets your intention and says to the wider universe that you are serious and this is real. So the seeds are the seed only grows into a tree because it was planted. So plant something new today. So this is saying like, it's everything's going to work out for you, but it's going to be one step at a time. You're not going to be able to race forward. You're not going to be able to leapfrog ahead. It's going to be taken on, you know, built brick by brick. So just keep that in mind. All right, here we go. Let's get you some charms. Um, what do we got? We've got. A new life so that could you could take that quite literal and a baby might be on the way maybe not for you but maybe for somebody in your family or 
you're starting something new and you're giving new life to something. It will be a wish come true. And finances will be okay. If they're not right now, they will be. I think they'll, they'll be fine. You're headed in the right direction. You will be the phoenix who rises from the ashes. Like I said, you'll, you will embrace that emperor energy and you will be, you know, a badass. You have angelic help. You can expect a miracle. Trust your intuition. And gallop ahead. Keep going. Keep going forward. Don't let anything stop you. You're, you're going in the right direction. So, keep going. Ride that horse forward. All right, Sag. That is what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. All of those things help me greatly, and I appreciate you for it. Until next time, love and light.